My name is Naafika Betty Jamrus. Today, I will present about our group project for aircraft design. My group was assigned to work on amphibian aircraft. In general, amphibious aircraft or amphibian is an aircraft that uh, both can take off and landing on land and water. Gloria Mermedia is the name given to her as a representative of Gloria from the Gloria and traits of grace from the word Mermedia, which is thoughtfully inspired by Mermaid. What hopefully makes the aircraft better than previous existing amphibian aircraft in market is that the aircraft could carry bigger amount of water from the purpose of firefighting. The aircraft will also possess better endurance for the rescue missions. Elaborate studies and analysis on amphibious aircraft will continue explain after this. Due to similar mission profile, which mostly revolve around a rescuing team, amphibian aircraft is always compared to helicopter, which just as versatile. However, amphibious aircraft have a greater range than equivalent helicopters and can reach almost the range of land on the aircraft, as the wing of an aircraft is more powerful than the lifting rotor of a helicopter. This makes an amphibious aircraft suitable for long-range air-sea rescue missions. Therefore, amphibious aircraft are particularly useful as land aircraft engage in light transport in remote areas where they, they are necessary not only to operate from airstrips but also from lakes and rivers. Throughout this semester, we have done four projects uh, for aircraft design. The first one is facility studies, the second one is aerodynamic, the third one is performance of our aircraft, and the last one is component design of landing gear. Okay, first we will discuss about feasibility study. A feasibility study is an evaluation that considers all relevant factors of a project including financial, technological, legal and planning consideration to determine the likelihood of successful completion of the project. Project managers use feasibility studies to determine a project's advantage and disadvantages before spending a lot of time and money in it. Facility studies also provide crucial information to the management of a company that might deter the company from pursuing risky business blindly. The design approach to be used from the beginning to final phase of the project can be assumed to fall into three key phases. The design approach to be used from the beginning to the final phase of the project can be assumed to fall into three key phases as we can show. This step is referred to as the feasibility study in some industrial organization. A paper is generated at the conclusion of the preliminary design process, providing a description of the technical and structural information known about the layout of the baseline. This is the first draft of a report to be updated to include a detailed overview of the aircraft. This is called the class specification aircraft. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nurul Najiha binti Muhammad Hamidin. Now that we have know what is feasibility study, we have started the project with a parametric study. A parametric study has been carried out to obtain the design of the amphibious aircraft that will later be discussed and further elaborated based on the data obtained from the existing amphibians in the world. Data has been tabulated from a total amount of 25 amphibian aircraft before being narrowed down to 8 aircrafts among it. Since the focus of this project is on aerial firefighting, therefore the main concern for our project is on the payload capacity, range and endurance. The specification chose for this project is made from several combining methods which include analytical estimation of weight of aircraft, review on the existing real data, and few logical assumptions. Well, since this aircraft is aimed for aerial firefighting, therefore, there is no need for it to be able to carry passengers. Lesser passengers also mean more water to be carried. More water will result in more area that can be covered to put off the fire. As for the wing configurations, the type of fixed wing is chose instead of a rotorcraft. It is because the mission is a long endurance aircraft instead of highly maneuvered one. Apart from that, the reason we chose turbofan engine rather than any other kind of engines is because the province offers high fuel efficiency for important and crucial mission like putting off fire on a big and open area. We must have safety measure beforehand. Gloria Mermedia has a capacity of four people. 
it is a fixed wing with a NACA airfoil of NACA 2412 with a wingspan of 40 meter and a wing area of 52.5 meters square. Well, for the aspect ratio, it has 3.7333 with a root chord of 3.75 meter and a tip chord of 1.8. Now, let's take a look at our aircraft design. Well, for this project, we have used the approach of Stinton method in Stinton 1983 and also used the trial and error approach to match the weight obtained from the first method with the mission of our aircraft. Well, how do we find the gross weight? It is basically roughly of 4 times the payload weight or WP. Therefore, the gross weight for this aircraft is 4 times 7,492 kg which is then equivalent to 29,968 kg. Then, we will get fractional weight meant for every component or parts in the aircraft. In this case, we are taking the fractional ratio for the turbine's twin engine. According to Federal Aviation Administration in 2007, it described that center of gravity for an aircraft is defined as a point in which the aircraft would stay balanced and plays an important role in affecting the stability of the aircraft. The location of the CG for the three biggest components of the aircraft which are the fuselage, wings, and engine are normally known while the other of location for CG for the smaller components such as fuel tank must be estimated. First, we need to calculate the maximum CG estimation. In this, we need to consider all weight involved in the aircraft. Maximum CG is located at 4.4 meter. Then, we must find the empty CG estimation. Well, in this, we only consider the structure. Empty weight CG is located at 4.2 meter. Now that we know the location of empty CG, we can take that as a reference to calculate of CG. In of CG, we only consider the payload at the back of empty CG. Of CG is located at 4.04 meter. Similar to of CG, we take empty weight as reference to calculate the forward CG and only take payload in front of the empty CG. Forward CG is located at 3.6 meter. As you can see, the of CG is located after the uh, empty CG while the forward CG is located before the empty CG. That means our calculation for center of gravity is said to be correct. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My, my name is Nur Amira binti Muhammad Asmi. I will talk about aerodynamic study. Aerodynamics is the study of motion of air, particularly as interaction with a solid object such as an airplane wing. There are four basic aerodynamic forces in effect on any moving aircraft, which is weight, lift, drag, and thrust. The amount of each force applied in comparison to opposing force determine how an aircraft moving through the air. First, if the amount of drag acting on an airplane increases while thrust stays constant, then the airplane will decelerate. Second, if the amount of thrust acting on an airplane is greater than the amount of drag, then the airplane will move forward or accelerate. Third, if the amount of lift decreases below the weight of an airplane, then the airplane will descend. Aerodynamic characteristic can be obtained by using that core method. Other than this way, we also can use computational fluid dynamics and wind tunnel testing which is more accurate to obtain an aircraft aer aerodynamic characteristic. However, 
In this project, we only constrain the research of aerodynamics characteristic of our amphibian aircraft by using the comp method only. Through the process of obtaining the aerodynamic characteristic, there is a lot of assumptions being made in order to make the equation simpler and can be solved. Therefore, the answer might be a bit different from the exact value. This is also because the fact that the Ecker method is based on slender body theory. However, we can see the correct pattern of analysis such as coefficient of lift for wing body tail is higher than coefficient of lift for wing body and wing alone. Same case, for the drag analysis, the pattern of the graph obtains same as theoretical result where drag of wing body tail higher than wing body and wing alone. The next part for aerodynamic study is wing loading. For wing loading, we use strength approximation. The required data for strength approximation is wing section, wing span, wing area, axial ratio, cut length, tap ratio, and CL mag. The wing is divided into 17 sections. First, we will calculate the wing load distribution coefficient in order to determine the span wise shear forces values. Then, we will calculate the local lift coefficient and then we can calculate the value of CCL delta Y N. Then, the changes in shear force distribution on each section is given by before we compute the corresponding shear force VN value at each station. Then, we can calculate uh, the bending moment distribution, the bending moment at each station and the local lift force at specified station. From all the calculation, we have generated uh, several graphs from the calculation. First, we generate the CL versus Y uh, graph, and then uh, the CCL versus Y graph. Third is CY versus Y graph. This is LN versus Y graph, and this is V versus Y graph. Lastly, this is M versus Y graph. Assalamualaikum, a very good day. My name is Noma Sarah Binti Azullah and I'm going to explain to you about Gloria Mermida performance study. These performance studies use analytical approach. Firstly, we have calculated the thrust required and the values obtained is 1790 Watt. The power required can be obtained by multiplying thrust required and also velocity. The value is approximately 72,000 Watt. We have calculated the rate of climb at several altitudes, starting from sea level to 6,000 meter. The maximum rate of climb for each altitude is... So the maximum rate of climb is at sea level with 3.47. So the graph altitudes again maximum rate of climb shown a negative gradient, which then leads to an absolute ceiling of 11,000 meter and a service ceiling of 1,200 kilometer. The range for Gloria Mermida is 1400 km and the endurance for this aircraft is 14 hours. So let's take a look at the landing performance. So the lift of velocity is known to have 109 meter per second and the lift of distance is around 2337 meter. Also calculated the load factor against velocity and generate a graph which look like this. And compared to the real VN diagram, it can be said that the load factor for Gloria Momadia are included in the flat envelope with its respective velocity. Therefore, this aircraft is safe to fly since the load factor is carried do not exceed the allowable load and may cause stall. Now, let's go into the second part of performance study, which is the longitudinal static stability. Study the contribution of wing to CMCG, graph or CMCG wing is generated. Overall, the graph shows negative wing moment by wing. This happened due to angle of attack increases with slope negative 0.0018. The lift coefficient is inversely proportional to alpha angle. However, due to small increment of CL, the graph seems to approach asymptote as alpha increase. The effect of moment also was shifted to the left from the combination between wing and fuselage. The contribution of tail surface located at the aft of the wing makes the effect on the airplane lift and pitching moment. This can be developed through the tail to MCG figure. From that, downwash against alpha graph is generated. Incident angle for wing and tail is designed to be the same. Then, the change of incident angle is equal to zero. Total pitching moment about the center of gravity. Let's consider the whole aircraft into calculation. 
across the MCG against Alpha shows negative slope of 0.2068 with graph shifted to the left due to negative moment effect of tail. Coefficient moment at angle 0 is 0 0.3332. The neutral point is obtained at 1.116 meter. To summarize, objectives of this project has been achieved. In order to know our design is efficient and its maximum capability, we have to calculate all the performance. For our amphibious aircraft, some of the performance are in acceptable range and some are not. There are things that we can improve to upgrade it and make it a better aircraft such as upgrading the power of engine. Other than that, by considering wing, fuselage, proportion system such as engine and tail in our calculation, we are able to determine the stability of an aircraft. From the calculation, we made our amphibious aircraft is statically stable because it meets all the requirements. The neutral points of the amphibian aircraft is 0.0877 meter and the static margin is 1.116 meter. Hello, my name is Nur Azad Naziha Binti Azmi and today I'll be presenting about Project 4, Component Design of Landing Gear. Landing gear is the undercarriage of an aircraft or spacecraft and may be used for either takeoff or landing. While a landing gear system is one of the critical subsystems of an aircraft and is often configured along with the aircraft structure because of its substantial influence on the aircraft structural configuration itself. For aircraft, it is generally needed for both. It was also formerly called a lighting gear. For aircraft, the landing gear supports the craft when it is not flying and allowing it to take off, land and taxi without damage. Wind landing gear is the most common with skids or floats needed to operate from snow, ice, water and skids for vertical operation on land. Faster aircraft have retractable undercarriages which fall away during flight to reduce drag. We use nose gear or tricycle and retractable type of landing gear. So here are the detailed dimensions for parts of our landing gears. while the diameter is 0.6 meter. Nose landing gear is located at 1.2 meter to the left of the empty weight CG, while rear landing gear is situated 3.8 meter to the right of the empty weight CG. In Abacus, we have used hex machine and set up load up to 80 times 10 to the power of 12 newton. This is stress analysis for the whole component. The critical point happens at the middle of the wheel where the rod and the wheel is connected. From what we have learned from this entire semester is that this course has taught us to apply all aeronautical fundamentals in one subject. We have also learned the importance of communication and time management. In conclusion, we have successfully run all four projects in Aircraft Design 1. See you in Aircraft Design 2. Bye-bye!